Hey guys, so I just wanted to make this quick video because I'm noticing that a lot of people online don't really know how to properly export their animations for Instagram and YouTube out of After Effects. You like the frame rate looks wrong or they did something wrong, I'm not sure, but basically it's very simple. When you're in After Effects, you just want to select the composition, go under Composition and Add to Adobe Media Encoder Queue. If you just do Add to Render Queue, then you don't get the H.264 um, to export, right? It's not available in the in After Effects in the newest version. So you have to open the media encoder. So you can also do Control Alt M on your keyboard and which will load it up. So this is the media encoder and this is your composition in here. So I already have H.264 selected, but if you don't, you can just click on this and it will load up what's basically Adobe Premiere export window. So you might recognize this if you use Adobe Premiere. And here under export settings, you do have H.264 available to you. So you may not know that YouTube will actually convert any video that you upload to YouTube into H.264. This is the default format. So if your video is H.264 to begin with, then it's actually faster for YouTube to process. So it's just a little tip for you. So make this H.264, then of course, just select the output name and where you wanna save this to. For the preset, I will usually do match source high bitrate, and then just scroll down and make sure that your output here is matching your source. So your source is the composition. So it should be 1920 by 1080 at 24 frames per second. If it isn't matching, then just go here under the basic video settings and you can change the resolution and the frame rate here if you need to. And then I will usually just scroll down and the bit rate by default is set to 10 and 12. I will usually set this to something like 15 or if I'm doing an export for a client, maybe I will do like 20 and 20 if the client asks for an export for YouTube. Now, if you're exporting something for a commercial or anything like that, then I would do the uncompressed QuickTime animation, right? So that's gonna be a file that's like two gigs big, but it's uncompressed. But for something like YouTube and Instagram, you wanna do a small file with the highest possible quality, which H.264 is perfect for. So these are my settings, and then just hit OK and export it out, just by hitting display. And that's it. So just a quick little tip, make sure that you do this correctly in the future.